Hey gang, it's Rob, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you all the answers to the Security Plus test. Wait, you didn't you didn't think I'm talking about the real test? I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about this test. Man, you dirty mother. Me, I'm Rob, an educator and founder of itmagicky.com, and my goal is to make sure that each one of you guys watching this video get certified. So let's not waste another minute. Let's go ahead and start the test prep. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna go through the questions. I'm gonna give you guys some time to figure out what you think the answer is. Then as a family, we'll come back together and I'll tell you what the answer is and why that answer is the answer. Let's go ahead and get to the first question. Lamont is currently in charge of all network analysts for Lion Services. Lamont's focus is data loss prevention. Network technicians installed several devices that will ensure files will not be lost during a blackout. The devices ensure all critical systems get a continuous source of power until recovery controls are in place. What type of device will the network techs have installed? All right, gang, so I know the last couple uh, test preps in this series kind of beat you up or a little tough, so I kind of um, made this one just the entry, just uh, just a little bit softer because I know some of the other questions were a little bit tougher. All right, so hopefully you guys got this one right. The answer to this would be a UPS or an UPS. So an uninterruptible power supply, meaning that it pretty much acts as a backup. So as soon as power is lost, your main power source is lost. The UPS is a backup battery, and as soon as the power is lost, it's going to provide that power to the critical devices on your network. Next question. You are a security analyst that added internal as well as external firewalls on your network. Each firewall program is made by a different company. Security Inc., Firemall, and SafeNet are the firewall program developers. By having a plethora of companies providing firewall programs, you ensure which of the following. So you ensured vendor diversity, meaning that you went with several different vendors to have diversity, meaning that you will be actually, you. Oh, I'm chewing on my tongue. I don't know what happened right there, but you'll actually be able to see the differences, right? See which competitors are better. Okay, is Firemall the best? Is SafeNet the best? Um, are they compatible with the services and the systems that we use? So on and so forth. So if you use more than just one vendor, you'll be able to see vendor diversity. And once again, as I harped on in damn near every video that I shoot, the acronyms, make sure that you know the acronyms, right? If you don't know the acronyms, the test is going to be really tough, right? Basically, if you don't know the acronyms, you might as well not even go in there and sit because a lot of the um, questions are going to be acronym based. And sometimes um, it may not be an acronym, right? Maybe you went the other route. Maybe you're used to seeing the acronym, but you don't know what it stands for, right? So if they spell it out, you're lost in the sauce. Or if it's just an acronym, you're lost in the sauce. So make sure that um, you know the acronyms, so you make me proud when you go inside other testing centers. So, next question. You've been assigned as a security analyst for a company whose security has been breached. You bring a suite of software tools to the site of the incident. The first software tool you use has a list of known vulnerabilities and cross-references with services and software on the affected devices. What tool were you most likely using? Okay, so Nessus or Nest Us actually scans uh, your devices and your network and stuff like that against known vulnerabilities. So it scans your devices to see, okay, these things that are common, common vulnerabilities, common things that usually happen, does any of these devices have those vulnerabilities? And if it does, it'll pop up and say, hey man, you probably need to uh, fix this issue. Um, another thing, when you're inside the testing center, make sure that you read the entire a question. I know you guys are super smart, but just in case, don't get ahead of yourself. Uh, don't get nervous. Just make sure you read the entire question and fully understand what the question is asking before you move on. And another thing is a lot of the questions um, 
have a lot of extra shit in them that you may not need to actually retain or know. So just make sure that you picking out the meat of the question to uh, better ascertain what you need to do. All right. So um, throughout this series, all these questions that I'm making uh, or that I uh, display to you guys, I made them myself. And like I said, a lot of times on the actual test, the question may be damn near an essay form and maybe by the time you get to the end of it you can't really remember what the hell they were even talking about so like i said just make sure that you become um, a sniper inside of the testing um, center so you go through there you can actually take out the information okay this is what the hell is asking and this is what the hell the answer is okay you recently completed your security plus exam congratulations you want to now apply the things you learned while studying for the exam so you decide to use a sandbox tool that will allow you to analyze various malware in their active states. What would allow you to accomplish this? So Cuckoo or Kaku is actually um, a program that allows you to monitor viruses in their active states. So in isolation, because the whole thing is you don't want to put a damn virus on your actual device. You don't want to put it on your network and actually see in real time what it can do. You want to actually be able to contain it and be able to test it in a safe environment. Right. So um, that Kaku, Kaku uh, creates a sandbox. Right. So inside that sandbox, there will be programs, there will be stuff and then there'll be the virus. So you can actually see what the virus does. Does it attack? certain resources does it replicate itself what does it actually do so in a live environment you can see what the virus does and then it can actually help you to see how can i prevent this and if you know something happens how i can actually get rid of it and cause the least amount of damage like this video subscribe to the channel and put where you're from in the comments and what certification you're going after right now. So Yasmin is a cloud engineer for a small startup in Detroit. She deploys software to monitor traffic and enforce security policies in the cloud. What tool do you believe would be most efficient in this scenario? So here's another acronym game, the Cloud Access Security Broker. It pretty much acts as a middleman. So it sits in between the user and the cloud and just make sure before they get on the cloud that they're not doing anything weird, that it's not any anomalies, that they're probably not gonna do anything malicious on the actual network. So one more time, C-A-S-B, Cloud Access Security Broker. So tell me how hard would this question have been it may have been difficult anyway but imagine how hard it is if you don't know what the hell the acronym stands for right so just make sure that um you know what the acronym stand for and you'll be prepared or more prepared um for the actual exam so that was the last uh, question that was the last question on this test prep we got one more video in this series so make sure that if you need uh, a little bit more push if you need online training if you went through this series and you're like man i am not ready for the security plus shit or you can head over to icmasterie.com you can enroll inside of our a plus course or net plus course or microsoft um, beginners course or security plus or whatever course that you feel would help you in your career and we got testimonials over there we got students passing all the time but at a minimum, like I said, um, watching these videos is free of charge. Only thing I need from you is to like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you in class.